In this video, we'll look at the logo scan time, why it can be important and how to measure it. PLCs generally execute their program in a cycle of read the inputs, execute the program logic, update the outputs. Each cycle of the loop is known as a scan. A PLC with a shorter scan time or more scans per second can react more quickly to changes on the inputs. Many applications don't require fast response times and reacting within a second might be more than enough. Others do, even in simple manufacturing processes. For example, in this animation, the pick and place cycle is about three seconds. In one cycle, there are six position sensor checks. If the PLC scan time was 10 milliseconds, then there's potential for six times 10 milliseconds variation in the cycle time, which works out to be 60 milliseconds or 2%. By halving the scan time, we could reduce the variation and improve the machine performance and possibly quality as well if timing is critical to the process. There's a simple routine we can add to our programs to monitor the number of scans per second. It's based on the threshold trigger function block, which we're just using to count the number of pulses in a preset time. We'll create a two-scan blinker using a marker flag. Looping its output back to its input using a not block will cause it to change state on each scan. The threshold trigger only counts on zero to one transitions, so we set the gate time to two seconds to double the reading, which will be the same as the number of zero to one and one to zero transitions in one second. The threshold trigger output requires termination, so we'll use an open connector constant. We can add a message text to our circuit so that the scans per second can be read on the logo LCD. We'll enable the message text block with status one constant and we'll terminate the message text with an M25 to enable the logo white backlight. Testing this in the simulator, we can see that we get in the region of 16 scans per second more than 60 milliseconds per scan. This would be very poor for a PLC. Let's check on the actual logo. PC to logo, OK, stop, run, yes. The logo LCD shows a scan rate of more than 3500 scans per second, which is less than 0 0.3 milliseconds per scan. What's interesting here is that when we do an online test, the scans per second drops by almost 25% to 2700. Obviously, the online tests add significant CPU load. Pressing F2 calls up the info window, and here we can see that we've used 40 out of 8500 available program memory. We need to stress the PLC a little harder. This program consists of inputs, timers, ands, and flags repeated many times. In the bottom, we have the same scan time calculation logic. Press F2, and we can see the program is using 616 out of 8,500 available program memory, which is about 15 times our earlier program. Transfer to the logo and run. Now we can see that the scans per second have dropped from 3500 to 2100 for the larger program. This is 0.62 milliseconds per scan. Running online test drops the scan rate by almost 25% as before. Based on these simple tests, it looks as though the overhead of reading the inputs, basic housekeeping and writing the outputs is going to take at least 0.3 milliseconds. Scan rate will be further decreased in proportion to the size of the program. Scan rate will drop by 25% when running online test. And we learned that it's easy to add scan rate monitoring to your program. 
I'll leave a link to the file download in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment if you think I missed anything or would like to suggest topics for future videos. Mm -hmm.